So, it looks like Mason Rudolph will be making his second consecutive start for the Pittsburgh Steelers as they travel to Seattle to face the Seahawks. And, this obviously means that Kenny Pickett, even though he's been dealing with his injury, he's going to be on the bench and be the secondary backup for Mason Rudolph and probably Mitchell Trubisky being the one that's inactive and being the emergency quarterback. So, what does this all mean? So, you look at this and you look at Mason Rudolph. You look at some people saying that Mason Ruff, he should not be the starter because if Kenny Pickett is the future, how are you going to bench Kenny Pickett? It just looks bad and the Steelers should go back to Kenny Pickett. And then on the other hand, you have people saying, well, Mason Ruff, the team looks so much different. They finally put up points. They finally had a blowout game. He should 100% be the starter moving forward until the end of the season. And then you make your decision after that. So what is the truth? Well, Mike Tomlin gives his thoughts on the quarterback situation heading into this week at his press conference. Here's what he had to say about it. So, we kind of had the same mentality as we start this week, and obviously we have a great deal of comfort because of what we have seen in stadium from Mason Rudolph, and that helps us. But we still really are in the same uh, posture. He's got the ball to start the week, and we'll see where Kenny is from a mobility perspective and then kind of go from there and day by day based on the things we've seen from that perspective. So that's actually kind of interesting. Just looking at that quote, I'm going to move over to this quote as well though. Really, we are in the same position with Kenny as we were last week. We'll give him a few reps and kind of see where that leads us. Just as I said a week ago, in this setting, Mason was scheduled to be the quarterback for the week. And we'll see where Kenny is. So that's two quotes from Mike Tomlin about the quarterback situation. Basically saying that as of right now, Mason Rudolph is the starter. He is the starter to heading into this week. But you never know if Kenny Pickett is able to make a return from injury. He's healed up quick enough. The coaching staff and the medical team clears him. Then just maybe, just maybe he'll start. We don't know. Mike Tomlin's comments, he did not specifically name Mason Rudolph the starter no matter what. He was kind of asked questions based off if Kenny Pickett is healthy, will he play? And this is his response. He's kind of pushing that to the side and being like, we'll see where we are at. Maybe, maybe not. So it's not like 100% sure that Mason Rudolph will start. But obviously, it's been reported by like other people that he's expected to. But as of right now, you never know. It would be so funny if we all think Mason Roth is going to start and then next thing you know, Kenny Pickett is named the starter and then Mason Roth is sent to the bench once again. That would be funny. But looking at this situation, the truth about it is that Mike Tomlin is trying, just trying to put on a show and be like, hey, Kenny Pickett, if he's still our guy, so if he's healthy, he'll play. But He's kind of knowing that he won't play, but he's just trying to put that narrative out there that they still believe in him. That's my truth to the situation, and that's what I believe is going on. Also, just looking at it from a perspective of the fans saying that if Kenny Pickett is actually your franchise quarterback, how are you going to bench him for someone you just had as your third string option before last week? Well, you look at it like this. You look at it, who gives you the best option to win right now? And yes, you've seen players in the past, quarterbacks get benched and come back in, be the starter. And usually that doesn't work out too well. Usually that hits a thing of with their confidence. Usually once you take over for the quarterback position, you're going to be the starter. You know you're the guy. We look around the league and we see guys like um, Mac Jones. You look at Sam Howell. You see these quarterbacks who are young, who basically came in the same year as Kenny Pickett. And you look at it. Like they got benched and then their confidence took a hit every other time they end up having to make a play or having to be the starter. You look at Zach Wilson, for example, same thing with him. Whenever he got benched, next thing you know, he comes in to be a starter. He's not the same quarterback. So you kind of don't want that to be the same case with Kenny Pickett where you know, hey, we're going to send him to the bench, and now he knows he's being benched, and next time he starts, he's all erratic, and his confidence takes a hit. That's why some fans are saying, you have to roll to Kenny, Kenny Pickett. If you think he's the franchise guy, how are you going to bench your franchise quarterback? It's just like benching your starter, 
and then being like, hey, you're still a starter, but I think our secondary option, our third option, has a better chance of winning this game than you. So we're going to start him instead. Obviously, your confidence, obviously, your ego is going to take a hit. And you can see that by Kenny Pickett's kind of attitude in the media when he was talking about it. He was asking if he learned anything from that game, if he learned anything from the quarterbacks, Mason Rudolph or Mitchell Trubisky last week. He said no, did not explain anything, did not fake his answer. He said no. So you could kind of see his attitude. Many people point out his attitude on the sideline as well. He did not look happy throughout the game. He kind of looked mad. That's what it was shown in the media. That's all the pictures I've seen about it and people talk about it. That's what they said. But you look at it from another perspective like this. You look at it as if the Steelers are trying to win and they know that Kenny Pickett is injured and he, even though he's coming back from his injury, sometimes you come back from that high ankle sprain and you're just not the same. So maybe you look at it as a perspective as if the Steelers are trying to protect Kenny Pickett and protect him from himself from coming back too early. You've seen many quarterbacks, many players just in general come back from an injury too early. They're not their same. Their mobility is hindered and it affects the person and affects the team more than if the quarterback just would have sat out. And you look at it at perspective like, hey, Mason Rudolph just had his best game of his career. The Steelers just had their best game of the season and they have to roll with Mason Rudolph. And just think about this. If the Steelers would go back to Kenny Pickett and they lose that game, their offense doesn't do anything. Would it be better to have Kenny Pickett be benched in the middle of the game and take it out because of his play if the Steelers are losing or would it be better as a perspective wise for himself to be not playing in that game to start with and kind of having that narrative is we're going to give you another week to heal we're going to see how this week it goes and then we're going to go from there how much better would it be from a perspective wise from a confidence wise if you've been benched in the middle of the game or is not playing in general I think it's better that they just say, hey, we're going to protect you. You know, you're not ready yet. We're going to give you another week with your ankle. And maybe next week you're going to be reevaluated. And then maybe that week you'll be the starter. I think it's better off doing it that way than being benched in the middle of the game. And looking from a fan's perspective, you look at it. Mason Ruff just had his best game of the season. How are you going to bench him? This tier's offense looked the best it has in like two seasons. So how are you going to go back from that? And not play him after everything he just showed this week. You can't do that. The fans would be pissed off. The teammates would probably be pissed off. Like the wide receivers, the playmakers, even the defense. You would look at it from a situation like them. They're going to be looking at a situation and be like, how? We just had our best game in two seasons. We just had the best game of this season. How are you going to go out and bench the quarterback that just did that? Just showed out, made the right plays at the right times, was able to be a solid quarterback. How are you going to bench him? That just doesn't make sense from a perspective of trying to win. Our whole motto was trying to win, and the standard is the standard. And if he just went over that standard and was able to produce after being on the bench all season, on the bench for the last two years, if he just went out there and exceeded the expectations, how are you going to go back from that and play the quarterback who obviously has been struggling, has not had more than two touchdowns in a game more than once. He only had it one time in his career, Mason Ruoff. His last two games, he had over two touchdowns. So you look at a perspective of Kenny Pickett's been struggling and throwing the ball. Mason Rudolph just, just had her best game. The teammates would probably be mad. The players would be mad if Mike Conlon went back and started Kenny Pickett or Mitchell Trubisky over Mason Rudolph. So I was looking at a perspective of every single way. And this is the whole truth about the situation. I just looked at it from every single perspective. The players, the fans, Kenny Pickett, Mike Tomlin, the team organization as a business standpoint every point so this is the truth about the situation and the Steelers deciding that Mason Ruff will be the starter and Kenny Pickett will be on the bench obviously Mike Tom did not confirm this 100% he said he's gonna be like a game time decision but this is what's expected he's probably just put on a show for the media so they stopped talking about Kenny Pickett being benched so with that being said that's the end of this video but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below about this about the reasoning do you like the idea of Kenny Pickett being benched even though he is the franchise guy do you like it as in that hurts his confidence or it doesn't do you think it does or not or do you believe they should just go with him either way because if he is the guy how are you going to bench the starter 
Also, do you like it as in Mason Ruff starting? Just give him another chance. Obviously, he showed out, so the Steelers need to start him. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well if you like Steelers content, analysis, and reports. Like the video. Turn on post notifications down below for the channel as well. Click that bell down below so you never miss out whenever I post the next Steelers video. So you can get updated right away about all Steelers news, rumors, highlights, reports, breaking news, analysis, film breakdowns, reactions, everything. Turn on notifications, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.